Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1388, Project Due. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Now, I want to clear up something from episode 1360. Uh, that's back when we talked about how to select a cell that contains a hyperlink. And I had kind of said that you had to sneak in using the arrow keys. Uh, turns out that is not true. Bob uh, from Kentucky sent in a great tip in wins an Excel master pin. He says, just go click on the cell and see it starts out with the hand hold for about two seconds. When it changes from the hand to the plus, let go and you've now effectively selected that cell. So, uh, great. Uh, this question uh, came in from uh, someone posted on my Facebook wall or sent me a Facebook message. Uh, they have a series of due dates. Now, today's April 21st and they have a great little formula over here, a, a Boolean formula uh, that says if E2 minus today is less than 1, uh, then this thing is due, right? I love that formula. And hey, by the way, here's a little puzzle for you. I'm going to switch over to another Excel uh, file here. Um, there we go. Uh, so here's a similar formula. They want to see if 4% is equal to 2%. Uh, and so we do that little check. And normally that would either report true or false, but check it out. What's up with this? We're getting 0, and if they do happen to be the same, percent we're getting one zeros and ones instead of trues and falses you ever seen anything like that I went back to the person who sent it to me and I said all right let me guess this spreadsheet started its life in Lotus one two three and they said that's exactly right how'd you know now it's just one of those weird things if something even if it was in Lotus like 20 years ago and you've been updating it in Excel the whole time I have no idea where the heck Microsoft stores that bit for hey this is a Lotus spreadsheet but uh, anyway back to the question from uh, Back to the question sent in by Facebook. Hey, we have this new column now that says uh, they mark if something is paid. And so if it's been paid, uh, we don't need to hassle them. We don't want this to be true. And so I said, okay, take your current formula and we're going to wrap the AND function, AND function around that formula. So equal AND, open parenthesis, and then we'll go to the end of the formula they have. And now we need to check and see if, uh, in this case, column F is equal to a Y. Now I notice here they use uppercase Y and lowercase Y. So we could say um, if the lower of F2 is not equal to lowercase y, um, oops. Okay. shoot that down. And what we should see there is the items from today that have already been paid are now marked as false. Uh, if you're sure that no one's going to put ends in here or accidentally put a Y in and then space that Y out with a space. If you're absolutely sure that, that uh, things are going to be blank, then rather than checking for the lower of F2, you could just say, um, so the first thing has to be true and then also is blank F2. Um, now is blank is looking for a completely empty cell. Uh, so even that case there where I space something out and it looks like it's an empty cell, that's really not an empty cell, and even if those dates were all 421 today, they're still going to be reported as not due because of that space there. So, you know, you just have to decide uh, are all the Y's capitalized or all the Y's not capitalized? Um, you know, any chance someone's going to put a space in there and figure out the best way to check for that over there. Uh, so, uh, three things today the uh, weird Lotus 123, if you know, where that bit is stored, that'd be great. Also, how to select a cell that has a hyperlink. Thanks to Bob from Kentucky for that. And then taking a Boolean formula and checking for two. Okay, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.